Mortal Kombat. I saw Mortal Kombat this weekend. Okay, you- okay. What before you seen that? Are we on the same page? The first Mortal Kombat from like '95 was the best Mortal Kombat. Well, I think everybody agrees. Mortal Kombat, the original movie, was okay. The so second for, one, Annihilation, was terrible. I haven't seen it. So for comparison, we're going to go the first Mortal Kombat to this one. You're going to explain that I'm going to waste my hour and a half. Is it two hours? How long is it? Uh, I think it's an hour and 50 minutes is what I remember. Hour and 51? Okay, so let's tell me what you think, my friend. I thought eh, I have a bit of a mixed review. I think it's uh, a lot of fan service is what I would say. A lot of fan service. Okay. A lot of, uh, if you're a, a Mortal Kombat fan, you'll get what this is. You'll like that. You'll like seeing that. I think if you're not a Mortal Kombat fan, it might not be for you. With that said, it's uh, it's it's a popcorn action flick with a lot of fantasy elements, you know, like a lot of, you know, magic fighting abilities but it's a popcorn action flick is really what i would say it is okay cool then, then maybe, I'll, maybe i'll take the time and watch it yeah, yeah because like to me to me it's it, my issues are um like the first mortal kombat i really like because i was playing mortal kombat back then like mortal kombat one mortal kombat two mortal kombat like, you know i was playing those mortal kombat games back then yeah then, like after a certain thing i think like 64 came out yeah. I know you're a huge Mortal Kombat fan. I sure. think you and Ty have fucked me up so bad, Mortal Kombat and all that shit. Like, I just give up. I'm like, I'm so far behind on you guys, I'm done. But yeah. I can, if it's a popcorn action flick with some sci fi fantasy, I can yeah. eat popcorn. Literally, I'm not going to be mad about it then. I would take the time to watch it. What, uh, what, what would you expect from a Mortal Kombat movie today? Like, what are you looking, what are you thinking this sh- needs to deliver on? Entertainment? Sure. Um, it's got to have the classic characters. Sure. Okay. Um, I also want um, great like effects because okay. like the first Mortal Kombat was good for yeah. the time. It was really good. Sure. I want I want like better. I want yeah. like fatality. I want gruesome fatalities now. I want to watch like Liu Kang uh, into a dragon. I want to see Raiden like lightning storms. I want to see all that crazy shit. Like wow. I want to see, I want to see like shapeshifters in the, you know, you're fighting yourself. Like that's the kind of stuff mm. I want to see. I don't know if there's a lot of shapeshifting, but I think other than that, you're going to be, you're not going to be disappointed. There's a lot of that, a lot of fatalities, a lot of, uh, a lot of even things that they worked in where it's like, oh, I've played against people that they did that, that uh, they managed to get cheap fighting into it. <laughs> they, there's they a did? lot of, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of little cool nods that, uh, uh even some of the names of the characters that don't exist they reference like oh you won your title off of that guy the guy that he won his title off of is sort of like a subtle nod to mortal Kombat fans that uh it's like an easter egg a lot of little easter eggs actually a lot of little easter eggs um is it so, loyal so sorry go ahead go ahead so like when you continue all your no, you go with your thought i'll come with mine you go ahead well, you go first. what i was gonna say is is it loyal to the mortal Kombat? uh is it loyal to the Mortal Kombat storyline? At first, I was going to say not really, but there's um, something that I realized. I watched it twice on second viewing. It's, I don't want to spoil it, but it's kind of almost more of like a prequel kind of thing. So that's all I really want to say. Okay, cool. So no, because, because that, so because, leaves the door open for yeah. Mortal Kombat 2. Yeah, but because it's kind of a bit of more of a prequel-y feel to it, it uh, it could end up being a little bit more loyal to the the storyline, and there is there is some stuff where they did take some liberties, but uh, it was right. It was the right decision to make in some in some cases. Honestly, I think you'd like it uh, if you're a fan of Mortal Kombat. You like violence. You like uh, fatalities. There's a lot of fatalities in it. Uh, no, what's it rated? Rated R. It's rated R. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So like, it's funny when like new movies come out like that, that like some old stuff gets leaked. That like you're like I had no idea. Like they were saying like on the first Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Sonya Blade instead of being played by Bridget Wilson, one mm-hmm. of my favorites, was supposed to be Cameron Diaz. Oh really? That's Cameron Diaz. Bro- Cameron Diaz broke her wrist in the training for Mortal Kombat and couldn't go and fight, so she moved on. That would be a strange decision, to be honest. But like it's just some of those things. Who was your favorite Mortal Kombat guy to use? Uh, I always like Scorpion and Raiden. Yes, he raped me too. Back, back, forward, down, down, up, mm-hmm. and like to teleport, or you know, that's was kind of my favorite. Hold Y or X for the Liu Kang kick. I still remember some of the moves from back in the day, but like that's as good as I'm going. Yeah. So 
Anyway, so what, am I gonna watch saying? it? You want me to tell me? You're gonna tell me to watch it? Uh, I I think you'd like it. I don't know if I would recommend it to people who aren't fans of Mortal Kombat. Uh, and there's gonna be some fans of Mortal Kombat that are not happy that it took liberties with the storyline here and there. Overall, like I said, fun fun action flick, popcorn flick, lots of fatalities, lots of like lots of stuff that lots of Easter eggs. If you're uh, a fan. I'm looking forward. To, apparently, it's going to be a trilogy. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, I'm not going to say it's a... How do I say it? It's not going to be a classic movie. I'm going to say it's a passing grade movie. It's a good movie. It's not a great movie. It's okay, so there you go. It's not winning Oscars. No, no. But no. It, it, it won an MTV Movie Award. I'll be honest. The acting is... Uh, I'd say the, Kano's acting is great. The rest of them, not so much. Really? Yeah, that's a son of a bitch. <laughs>